boy, my friends, Ryder here. All right, so I have taken out Warrior of Light. We've tried out Lucio. Uh, yesterday we ran Thancred. Today I am bringing Engelbert back. So uh, a couple changes I made on this team. I had uh, one of you guys, Karu, in the comments say that you know, running Elena as anything other than evasion just makes her a glorified glass cannon. Um, so this is a uh, first attempt at making Elena a true power bruiser. And I'm pretty sure that I haven't uh, put this into effect yet, but I'm pretty sure Elena's about to break 9k HP uh, on this uh, next run. So on top of that, her magic is still basically at 1700 she's got 110 agility dex almost 400 luck nearly 450 she's got 16 defense 13 spirit and pretty decent resist across the board especially in magic resist uh, so i'm hoping to break 9k 9k hp on elena i've never seen an elena with 9k hp uh, so that would be pretty fun if i could get that to work i would it, it would definitely work if I had the chocolate flan earrings plus five because I know that the for three turns after the battle commences it's max HP up plus 25% right now I only have seven percent so it's really not that big of a deal I'm running these essentially for the defense and that extra HP and we're essentially going to see how tanky we can get Elena while still having her hit like an absolute beast um, for her TMR I'm running her with the max HP up uh, set bonus along with the magic set bonus um, she does have 12 passives, not all of them fully leveled, but I mean hitting a thousand HP plus on the Black Rose headdress is pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. Going on to Engelbert, Engelbert is going to easily clear 13k HP, uh, he might even make 14k, we'll see. His agility is a little low, I'm running Fenrir over Omega for the extra magic attack resist. Um, I suppose I could be running um, Chaos Odin, but I don't think I have the resonance up. Yeah, this would be a better uh, Esper. It would give him extra speed, um, and he would still get the magic attack resistance from that. So he'd probably be sitting at like 91 agility. Um, I'm also running him with Fenrir in the sub-VC slot for the extra magic resist, and Thancred's card in his main slot. Uh, so... All in all, looking pretty good. As you can see, his stats are pretty phenomenal. Defense 66, Spirit 19, so Spirit's a little low. His resistances are pretty even across the board. Other than Pierce, which is 5%, he's got 37% Slash, 30% Magic Resist, 27% Missile Resist, and 35% Strike Resist. So he's pretty solid all across the board, except for Pierce. Uh, Kane would eat him alive, as he does with most light tanks. Um... So I am looking forward to uh, testing him out. Okay, last but not least, we have Yuna, who I believe will be breaking 8k HP or very close to it. Magic is up to almost 1600, which is pretty great for her. Agility 95, not bad. Luck is nearly 350. Dex is about the same. Defense 12, Spirit 18, and... Decent resists across the board. I like to see all green, uh, but you can't always get that. Slash resist 12%, magic resist 51%, and dark resist 5%. Uh, so I'm also running her with Reigns TMR. I'm running with luck up 15% and the agility. Um, she's got almost a thousand HP on it. She does have 12 passives. And so it's looking pretty good. That's This is basically to support Engelbert and, you know, running 66 defense really good, but 19 spirit. He's definitely going to take more damage from magic users. So this is to kind of help Engelbert right there. Um, and as for Engelbert, I'm running him with Jum's TMR for the buff, along with running him with the defense upset bonus and agility. And this set also has, uh, it has 11 passives on it, not all fully leveled, but decent so that being said let's get into it let's see how tanky elena can be and uh yeah okay so we're not gonna fight this team I'm not gonna fight this team Ooh, otoro i have fought this team before oh okay here we go we'll kick it off with dark leela golbez and joker um i just did five battles with this team with a slightly different setup um 
so I suppose we'll see how this goes. I won four of the five. The one team I lost to was a Leela Joker Helena team, but I would have won if Leela had not gotten off her blind on Elena and Engelbert, which basically shut them down. They went into only buffing mode, and then it was too hard to come back, trying to wait the three turns for it to wear off. Okay, so Elena does break 9k HP. Officially made an Elena with 9k HP. Super stoked on that. Uh, I'm super excited to see how this goes. Okay, Yuna was HK 8k HP in my last setup. The change that I made was I switched Bahamut um, in the main VC slot from Yuna to Elena. Uh, Bahamut comes with more HP, an extra 5%. Um, and... Balafor comes with an extra 20% magic up. So I might switch the Balafor card back to Elena just because I want her to have higher magic. But it has been done. Elena has broken 9k HP. Uh, I would say she is not a glorified glass cannon anymore. We'll see how this goes. Engelbert running out. Okay, she's going for the limit break. Golbez goes down. Okay, we got Joker and Leela to contend with right now. We're gonna have the limit break come first from Joker. We'll see how we look on the defense here. Okay, Elena looking pretty good. She does survive. Both of them are on courage. Yuna's gonna get the heal off. Time for our countermeasures. Engelbert hitting not very hard at all. Ooh, not able to take them down. This is going to hurt. Okay, they do survive. Elena is going to have the re-raise. And Engelbert is going to fall. Oh, this is going to be close right now. She's going to get the heal. Dark Leela goes down. Joker runs out of AP. His... Oh, he doesn't have bells. As we all know, Joker absolutely needs bells. And he goes for Yuna. He's able to take down Yuna. And Elena comes in clutch at the end and brings him down. All right, so that's the first battle. Not bad. Uh, I would say Golbez is not as good as Helena, so uh, it could be a stronger team. But all in all, pretty good in that first fight. That was close. That was definitely close. Hard to contend with dark with light sometimes. Okay. So what else we got here? We got a full ice team. Maybe we'll find another fire old Dyra team. That would be cool. We could find another... Uh... This is a full evasion team. Our team has absolutely no accuracy, so they will wreck us completely. Okay, let's see. Here we have Titus, Astrius, and Celis. This is actually looking pretty cool. Let's look at Titus right here. Wow, 1800 attack, 8.2k HP. Let's go for this. Let's see how this goes. I think that, let's just double check the map. I was going to run, um, where does it even say the map? Not right here. Raises water resist slash fire attack. Okay, so Water, we have a slight advantage against water right now. Keep that in mind. This is why uh, one of you guys in the comments said that because water has resistance right now, or because people have resistance to water right now, I should wait to do the Titus showcase until next week. Uh, I am listening to you, whoever you are. And so that's why I decided to do Engelbert today. And I will be running Titus with his Master Ability 2 uh, coming next week. Um, but this is pretty sick. Titus with almost 18, 1800 attack. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be pretty cool, actually. Okay, so heading into the battle. Man, if Titus is sitting at 1800 attack, I wonder where Astrius is sitting at over there. It's going to be pretty crazy. Okay, Elena kicks it off with Courage. Astrius sitting at 10.2k HP, looking good over there. Yuna runs over. I think after this fight, I'm going to switch Bahamut back to Yuna. We'll put Balafor back on Elena so she gets the higher magic. She'll drop down in HP a little bit, but I hit 9k and I'm happy with that. Okay, she gets the barrier up. Elena gets the spirit buff on Engelbert. 
I'm pretty sure Astrius has not gotten his courage off yet. Engelbert's gonna run out using Swift Wind Defense. It's actually pretty hard to use a tank on this map because they just always bunch together right in the middle, which is super annoying because the tank basically doesn't really serve a purpose because they can all get hit with AoEs anyway. Okay, so Astrius does get off his courage. Titus is gonna come in strong. Wow, despite all of Engelbert's resistances, Titus still hit him for 3.7k. That slash attack resist penetration that he got is looking good. Okay, so Titus goes down. We have Yuna right here. She's gonna go for the limit break, summons Valifor. Let's see what it does right now. Decent amount. This is gonna hurt. Oh, he goes for the limit break. Okay. We'll see how Engelbert holds up. Takes 7.3k damage. Gets hit by Crystal Tracer, but he does survive it. He does have courage up. Hopefully he uses his Courage buff, but he doesn't. He uh, goes after Celis. Elena goes for the Drain Evocation. Ooh, Engelbert goes down. Crystal Tracer takes down Yuna. Oh, that's a one-on-one -on -one right now. Oh, looking so good. Elena runs out of AP right at the end. She's going to hit him. She does have Courage, she does have Re-Raise. Oh, she doesn't have Re-Raise, the Courage procs. Oh, this is it right here, but I'm pretty sure he does have Courage. Oh, it's over, that was so close. Such a good water team. Even, even with us having extra water resistance, they were able to hold up, that was awesome. And honestly, Engelbert being built for more uh, defensive characters, what a great team, that was super fun. What a fight. Rare to see Elena actually run out of AP. So that was actually pretty awesome. My hat's off to you, whoever you are. Okay, so we are one and one. That was an awesome fight. Let's see what else we got here. Boobly. Uh, Resnix 113. Oh, we already checked this team. Ooh, Kane is brutal as usual. Oh, this looks fun. Gilgamesh, Laswell, Velis. Okay. Stats are really good. It's like almost 5.2k in total. This should be a pretty fun fight. I am waiting for the day that Ice gets their shining moment. I think that it is slowly creeping up on us. Me and my friend are always going back and forth about Squall being ice. <laughs> he thinks it's basically a meme now. Uh, but I think that Squall will definitely be ice. So, uh, hey, bro. Just wait and see, my friend. <laughs> okay, there's Engelbert. Almost breaking 14k HP. That was pretty sick. I did fight an Engelbert yesterday with Thancred, and I think that he was about 15k HP, which is pretty awesome. I think within the next year, we'll see a tank with 20k HP, which will be pretty insane once we start to break 20k. Okay, Bellis getting the double haste off right here. Oh, Gilgamesh with his frickin' re-raise removal. That's always fun. Last will coming out with his limit break. Okay, lacking a little bit of the defense pen or the slash attack resist penetration, but not a bad hit. Elena takes down Gilgamesh in one hit. What will Velis do? He's going to go for the AoE hit. Elena gets the lucky dodge. Yuna's going to run out, use Kuraga. Okay, wow. Engelbert hit, takes a blade bash on last wall right there. Elena with a second dodge, looking good. The reason I've been building Elena as a power bruiser is because Dark Leela and Joker can both hit 140 accuracy pretty easily. Um, Joker has guaranteed hit in his kit already. I don't think Leela does, but she does have a plus 30% hit move, kind of like Stormbrand, Esther's move. 
And so if you're running an evasion team and you fight Leela and Joker, um, all that evasion gear is, you know, kind of for naught uh, because they're going to eat right through it. And so I'm making this team kind of as a way to go around that if possible. And I like the challenge of it. I think though, if you're running light as evasion and you're fighting teams that don't have high accuracy or guaranteed hit, it's going to be incredibly strong as it always has been. Um, but I like the idea of trying to build characters in new ways and to, to try and draw out their Latin potential. Okay. Here's an Esther team. Ah, dang it. Okay. What else we got? Maybe we can find another. Here we go. Okay. This team is going to be freaking scary. Yesterday when we had a uh, Thancred, we got absolutely dominated by an Esther team. Uh, we'll see how it goes today. I'm pretty sure she's still going to eat through Engelbert. She basically eats tanks, um, for breakfast, <laughs> but, uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully Elena can take down Esther pretty quickly. Hopefully Esther does not get off courage, but honestly, Cloud is a beast. Ibarra is a beast and Esther is a beast. This is a great team. If I had Ibarra... I would have a lot of fun with a team like this. Cloud, nearly 9k HP. Ibarra, over 9k HP. I think Esther's probably like 10 or 11. So this is a very powerful team. Okay, Elena gets the re-raise. She's going to use uh, Helena's barrier. Esther does get off courage. Okay, so this is the... The team has, this lightning team has everything it wants right now. So we got to give it a total fight for everything. Engelbert's going to run out using Swift Wind Defense. Elena goes for Esther. Good hit right off the bat, but now we're going to have to take hits from all three of them. Esther goes for the limit break. This is going to hurt. Able to take down Elena. Cloud is too far back. That CT up, that's going to come back to bite us, I can tell. Engelbert goes for the Retribution Drain. Yuna goes for the heal. Elena has lost courage. She's going to go after Esther, but Esther is going to survive because of her own courage. Luckily, Engelbert is separated from Elena right now. So that's going to keep Elena alive. Oh, Esther goes after Elena. She does have re-raise. Okay, so hopefully Elena takes down Esther. She does. She's going to run over right next to Engelbert, which is freaking awesome. Now the AoE is going to hit them both. Okay, Yuna misses her heal. And Cloud's going to use Barrage. Yuna is going to heal. Oh, this is what happens. Sometimes I wish that healers would just go for the risky move and pull the full life instead of trying to heal themselves at the end. That would be a smarter AI, in my opinion. But it is what it is. Okay, well, that was a very strong team. Uh, if Esther had not gotten off her courage, I think we would have taken them down. But all in all, super strong team, very fun. Okay, we got one fight left. Here's Bahamut. We're not going to fight you. Here we have Audurian, full mono earth. Maybe there's a Fire Eldira in here. There is not. I have yet to see a Fire Eldira at level 120. That team looks kind of fun. Another team that does not have Fire Eldira. Another one. This looks fun. I might do this. Okay, who else we got? Thorin, the dwarf. Okay, for the last battle of the day, we're going to fight Terra, Megamont, and Dark Leela on her own. This looks like a really fun team that I would have a lot of fun uh, using. I love the Yin Yang teams. Uh, I know I've been doing a lot of mono team fights, um, but I do love Yin Yang teams. Uh, I think more than mono teams, honestly, because you lose a little bit of that edge. Uh, but it's a lot more interesting with like... You know, you can have a team that has a weakness for two of them, but then you can have your third character be strong against what they're weak against, and it's very, very interesting to have them all come together. Okay, so we're going to have Engelbert use Courage. Elena gets the re-raise. Stun. 
Still, I wish I could get Elena slightly more tanky than she is. Uh, I'm doing my best to uh, get her there, but still, it's hard. Uh, it's hard to really get her up. I was hoping to be able to get her to like a Dwayne level of tankiness, but it is a bit tricky with what I have to work with. Okay, Elena's gonna use Banishka Blade on Mont. Wow, he's looking pretty tanky. Dark Leela runs up. Terra comes in with Meltdown. Yuna's gonna heal. She gets off the instant cast Prey. Mont is gonna use that, but he is out of AP. Engelbert uses Saintly Cross, and Elena's gonna come in with the Limit Break right here. That was pretty good. Terra goes down. She did not have a uh, courage up. Elena takes down Mont. Yuna runs forward. She gets the full heal. Engelbert goes after Dark Leela. And Dark Leela did not have courage up either. I think that team could have been really 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 awesome to fight if Terra would have gotten courage off and if Dark Leela would have gotten courage off that would have been a different fight but as you guys can as you guys could see they were on a little bit of an uphill from the start um, we were just hitting them pretty hard uh, but yeah that was super fun um, that water team probably my favorite fight of the day um, also it was fun fighting that Leela Golbez Joker team as you guys can see uh, Engelbert is still uh, a force to be reckoned with. He's absolutely tanky. Um, you know, you could run him uh, kind of like this as well. You could run him with this card in the sub, and you could run him, let's see, with this card right here, or you could run him with this so that he gets a little bit of the defense piercing rate up. So now he has attack at around 1100. 12.5k HP, his spirit goes down, but because Yuna is running um, Reign's TMR, it is going to boost his magic attack resistance. Uh, so in this way, you could actually, you know, focus more damage with him um, and uh, actually get off some damage. I probably should have switched halfway through uh, just to see how that went. But normally with uh, Engelbert, with him being a true tank, uh, I try to run them as tanky as possible, but now that I think about it, on this map, it would have made more sense to run him as like a bruiser tank because it's such a small little area that everyone's clustered in that the AoE is going to hit the other characters anyway. So at that point in time, having him be ultra tanky does not really uh, cater to the team itself better to have him with a weapon and have him do as much damage as possible because at that point tanking and trying to outlast the enemy team is not going to be as effective as killing them as fast as possible so yeah i think that this would be a better setup for engelbert on this map also running him with chaos odin with the magic resist uh, would also be better because he would get more attack oriented he would get higher agility um, so that's something I need to, uh, set up is get Engelbert up with resonance on Chaos Odin. All right. Well, that's going to be the end of the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. It's, it's, I've been having, uh, a ton of fun going back and making these videos for all these different characters and kind of showing them within the new meta, which is something that, you know, myself and any of you guys can keep doing as new characters come out you can always go back and try out older characters and see how they fare and i think there's always a way to make something work depending on what you have if you have all the right pieces to the puzzle that makes them um, shine so yeah that being said thank you to everyone who have subscribed to the channel i really appreciate you guys i'm almost at 400 subscribers freaking crazy uh, so thank you all so much. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care and peace.